Okay, so let's start. So last time, I just uh, want to define this operator is the inverse of uh, U, U, of full, this, this full mark. This is a defi definition of F. And then, and I, I don't remember. Maybe I like a demo. This is I don't know. Then, uh, yeah, maybe the proof is not so nice, but anyway, do you know for any multi index? Multi index. You know, lambda plus u, c prime, it's estimated by some constant c alpha, alpha depends on r, alpha, c alpha times, uh, okay, so maybe it's much better to one half plus c minus two minus alpha. So you, you will be able to prove this one. I I try to prove this, but maybe yeah, maybe it success proof. But <laughs> the proof is not so clear. But anyway, this is true. Then then uh, so called fully multiplier theory. I will write fully multiplier theory. This is from the it's all bounded. Okay. Oh, maybe then it's lambda is a uh, homomorphic with respect to lambda, and the value is a linear bounded to linear operator from LQ omega, oh, sorry, Rm. H to Q Rm and uh, moreover this is R bound Q Q of uh, and Lambda is lambda. Lambda times is lambda is R bound. And uh, the one half of lambda. So this is RB, RB, and uh, 
Vi kommer til å tørre til. Bra med det. Maybe you forget the all about it, but uh, I also today I have no preparation of uh, explanation of all about it. Therefore, no, just uh, I mentioned all about it. Okay. Of course, all about it, then about it. Therefore, the, this all operator is about the linear operator from lambda. Lambda is lambda is about the linear operator from LQ to LQ. And lambda one half number is lambda is also about the linear operator from LQ to LQ. And the second derivative is lambda also bounded from LQ to LQ. Therefore, especially you have lambda is lambda. If on n on the number one half number of is on the on n on the second derivative of the round of f some constant this rb times f sorry maybe it's better actually it's now scalar you have this okay So this is this is uh, some fundamental starting point of my discussion. Anyway, so whole space, you know, usually you use that to multiply a theory. Namely, you check this this kind of condition. Then uh, you automatically obtain the R bounded so, uh, operator, but. Uh, the half space, then uh, the different story. But anyway, I can give you, I will be able to give you some of the uh, theory, which is useful to show that our boundedness of the operators. But uh, general domain, then you have to reduce, if you want to show that the existence of our bounded solution operator, then you have to uh, reduce the problem to the whole space and the half space and uh, using some uh, cutoff techniques. It's very much a little bit complicated. But anyway, the uh, important point is that the whole space and the half space. Okay, so this is. And the last week also we uh, uh, introduced that uh, solenoidal space. This is important to treat the Stokes equation. So solenoidal space is uh, bold F now the vector LQRN N. So each component of F is a be N vector and each component of, of F belongs to LQ. Right. And then uh, uh, JQ means that solenoidal space means that for any phi equals zero. And then important point is now then uh, if for example you is H one Q then divergence U is equal to zero equivalent to U belongs to JQ. Uh, because 
Yeah, okay, so if you uh, divergence, uh, sorry, Gauss, Gauss divergence, divergence theorem of Gauss, you can, from this, you can get the divergence f phi is equal to zero. Right? So this implies this is uh, obvious, but the opposite is that you have to prove. But uh, maybe last week, last week I proved. Yeah? And then this is okay. So this is a very special point of the Stokes equation. Stokes equation is the usual parabolic equations, but uh, how to treat uh, the pressure term is a. Uh, uh, but, uh, you need some ideas, and then uh, this is one of the uh, the idea to introduce JQ, solenoidal space. Okay. Yeah. Then, uh, what, uh, okay, so now we want to consider uh, 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 the two problem, meaning with that evolution equation. Okay, so now the main purpose, uh, This lecture is, you, we want to solve this, Rn, and then divergence u, g, and g should be given also divergence, some divergence chapter g. So in other words, small g is belongs to the h minus one space, but h minus one space is also a bit uh, delicate, so for, for the concrete problem, maybe usually g, small g is given by some divergence g. So for this. And then initial data. You will prove this one. And then equation is usually equations. Okay, so first two equation. So we consider T positive. What's the two equation? We consider T positive. But maybe I already mentioned that uh, to prove, to uh, to solve this problem, usually we divide into two parts. First part is uh, this one. Maybe let's say u1 minus p1 phi equal to f rn. Then the, we want to use that Laplace inverse transformation. Therefore, this uh, solve r and then also the div is g is chapter uh, all the g. This means that U1, sorry, U1. So U1, so, uh, so the equation for U1 is, uh, you forget about initial beta. Then uh, right hand side, F, and also G, uh, uh, bold G, is a suitable extent to negative time. And then you solve this equation because we want to use Laplace transform in time. So, okay, maybe I, later I will do. And secondly, then you, you have U1, then you solve the evolution equation with U2 minus. I is zero and divergence is equal to zero. And then initial data is original U and the minus U1. Then obviously, that's only zero. Then 
is equal to u1 plus u2 the required solution. So we uh, divide problem into two parts. Uh, the first part is uh, we apply uh, the directory the Laplace transformation in time. And the secondary, a uh, second equation is the so-called uh, semi-group approach. My group approach we use. So, first of all, okay, maybe I want to start from second because last week I come to the middle, middle part of the, my talk. Okay. The semi-group approach. First, first, anyway, semi-group approach is uh, usually you have to write equation dt b minus some operator b is equal to zero. And then b t zero. Zero. You have to write in this way. So some operator and then zero. So this problem, if I want to uh, for, formulate this problem as this, then what we have to do is that we have to eliminate pressure. And also, this is also the additional condition therefore we eliminate both. How to do? It's, uh, the whole space is uh, uh, rather simple. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, anyway, excuse me. Anyway, uh, in order to consider this evolution equation, usual approach is to uh, consider uh, the corresponding resolvent problem. What P zero F. Is consider the, this resolvent problem, and then B is is written two pi i gamma lambda t w. Okay, w is a function of lambda. You can come back to B. But, by using the this Laplace inverse transform W. Okay, so it is not so, it is, okay, so far it's a formal, but once you get the solution to the resolvent problem, then you can represent the solution to the evolution equation by using it to this Laplace transform. This is uh, usual things. Okay, then, uh, I want to concentrate on the resolvent problem. So, uh, okay, let's consider the resolvent problem for our case. And maybe better to write this P. So, we call F. But uh, now we take F is JQ. And then, and, uh, okay. And then if B is a solution of H, H2Q solution, 
will resolve a problem. This one, maybe you wrapped us. This is equal to F. Forget about this one. And also put Q equal zero in Rn. Then B automatically satisfy uh, the divergence condition if F is taken from this solenoidal space. In fact, any phi zero is F is solenoidal, so grad phi. Yeah. And then F is now solution to this. Then B is in here, so you can write minus uh, lambda D of B. I minus new operation is now bra uh, okay this part can be written in this way if div v number five uh, this is a uh, usual formula right now plus b Number of phi. Now uh, the, this is a Schizer infinity function. Therefore, you, you can use it to integration by parts. And uh, also, you you consider B is a distribution. Then what you can do is that uh, first you come here minus D plus B phi. And then uh, the approach and the divergence is uh, you can interchange. change. E I and then uh, now so it's a uh, usual formula. Yeah? So now plus B number five is. Uh, change it to this home. So this means that uh, uh, the resolvent problem for the weak Laplace equation. So the strong formula, strong formula is of course, you make uh, Nabra, you, you move Nabra to here, then you get to the Laplace uh, lambda D V. B, plus mu Laplace dv. So you have the the uh, Laplace equation, strong form. But this is a weak form of the Laplace equations. And then we know that the uniqueness. So, so if lambda is like so, then we have the uniqueness. Uniqueness implies uh, dv equals zero. Yeah, meaning meaning that v is in the modal space. So 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 the solenoidality 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 is uh, automatically satisfied if right member f belongs to the jq. And then the v, so, v solved this Laplace equation, resolvent problem for the Laplace operators. Then V satisfied. It's not by this free condition. This is uh, the whole space case. But there's some kind of special properties of the whole space. Therefore, Therefore, uh, automatically, we don't need, uh, you understand that the, we don't need a Q. So the whole space case is a Stokes equation is reduced to the Laplace equation. 
therefore, in this case, cause a domain of domain now u. Okay, maybe just to JQ intersection H to Q is a domain and operator A U is equal to mu Laplace U domain. And then we uh, consider so the Stokes Stokes equation is now uh, written in this way B minus A B in S J Q. Then of course we know then uh, we can solve these equations by this lambda minus, sorry, F inverse, S lambda, already I write S lambda A. B, B is uh, solved in this way. And uh, already we did that. Already we know that. Second derivative E L Q is less than constant type F. It's a, this would prove that at the beginning of this lecture, right? It's wrong to have this. So this estimate guarantee the generation of analytic semi group. So you can say that there exists a T of T, which is a, a C0 analytic semi group. Generated, uh, associated with this. And my evolution question. Evolution equation dt u minus mu to zero. And then t positive. And then you t equal zero. U zero. In fact, solution is written in, in this way. This is a general analytic semi group. And then moreover, U T is constant times the Q and time derivative so T to the minus one. And if Initial data belongs to zero is domain norm. Zero belongs to EA. Most case is a U zero is called space. J uh, sorry, JQ. Excuse me, JQ. This is a no, 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 you know, it's a from the abstract theory. For any T. 
because analytic semi group theory is always based on the line species of JQ. No. So solution belongs to JQ for any T. So JQ so solution belongs to the JQ means that you, you zero belongs to JQ means that the divergence U zero. Therefore, DTU, this equation also you can write this way. Okay. Meaning is that the Stokes equation is satisfied with P equals zero, pressure zero. So uh, whole space uh, in some sense quite e easy. The whole space case is uh, under under a solenoidal condition is the same as the heat equation. But anyway, you should know that uh, how to solve that sort of, uh, uh, Stokes equation in whole space. And then, no robot, you have a, a, a LP in time estimate, meaning that also you have, so if U0 goes to uh, JQ on the domain Q, It's a real interpolation space. I don't explain. Then, LP goes to LP, LP, LP. And, uh, Okay, so maybe stick on derivative of U. Uh, the DTU. This follows from the usual analytic semi group theory plus the other interpolation. You don't need any R boundedness. This is general theory also. If you want include number you. In this case, uh, maybe you have to, now I, I use this one, but if you want to include this, then maybe you have to consider this. Maybe. Maybe I count to half space case, okay, maybe you understand much more clearly. Just if you shift this so now resolvent parameter to right. Right. Now we are, we can see the uh, sigma epsilon. Just but uh, if you uh, 
So from, from why? Because we have a uh, estimate, for example. If we want to estimate what you you know, then you need a lambda node. is given in u is given this way then grad u is just only one derivative here okay then I see lambda plus u c square is uh, lambda one half. So, uh, if you want to get uh, such kind of estimate, you you should put the lambda zero here one half. One over u u itself u itself. Constant lambda note. This way. So if we want to get some boundedness, then you have to assume that lambda itself are larger than some constant lambda note. So Now oh, I consider only the highest derivative. Oh, therefore, uh, you have to this. The how to prove is maybe, I don't know. How the hell. It's also some kind of real interpolation argument. This how to prove it's okay. Let's, for example, consider uh, DTU. And if you know, uh, power. This space, power P, DT. We, we will estimate this one. Then write minus infinity to infinity with two n plus one. Just you decompose. It. Maybe one over p. Then, for then, if you introduce, okay, so uh, you take this maximal for this uh, it, on the interval to uh, power n to to power n plus one. So it's uh, Okay, sup and and so we did you P one P Okay. Then uh here is you have two n plus one, so two to two n, right? This this value is two n plus one minus two n two n 
two uh, minus one, <laughs> so two L, sorry. Yeah. So is equal to N as inverse to inverse of uh, soup uh, two uh, N over P uh, soup two N two two N plus one. With ut you can write in this way, right? Now, now let's okay. So for simplicity, we put this soup. LQ, excuse me. Then uh, we introduce uh, uh, a small L, small L space. So uh, the sequence A N belongs to small S Q. Smaller space is meaning is that the two n s a n p just l p therefore power p uh, n is uh, integer integer so minus uh, minus infinity to infinity sorry n n is in, integer so minus n minus infinity to infinity, such sequence, one over P, is uh, the we write to, uh, is AN mod LP, PS, it's finite, it's infinity. And uh, P, as usual, P equal infinity case is a just uh, LP norm is depressed by L infinity norm. So A N uh, N S A N sup N set is uh, A N uh, so A N it's infinity. Right. This is definition. Weighted, weighted small LP space. So weight is here. Yeah. So this is here. Therefore, by using this, then now you can write here it is. So zero infinity. Q one over P can be right is estimated by so this one so A N more and one over P S is one over P P so now in this case S equal one over P we can write in this way okay. Then the famous classical, classical interpolation theory tells you that one of one of okay, P P is equal to one of S one if usually we we know we, we know that P S is equal to the other interpolation Q S1, LQ, S2, theta P. And here is Q is in independent. No, you don't care about Q. P and Q is in infinity. And then S is one over theta S1. 
is uh, theta is two. And this is cross causality. For example, AI. Yeah, okay. I forget the name of the book, but a very famous book, Introduction to Introduction to the Interpolation. Theory of Interpolation, Introduction. Yeah, so the also, uh, maybe some North, North Europe, Swedish or Danish, maybe Swedish. In Sweden, the interpolation theory is a very, in some some moment, some say, interpolation theory is developed very much in Sweden. Okay. I believe this. No, no, you can use this one it's just now. It's uh, one over p. p is equal to us. Okay, so no. we want to use this one, but before using this, we have to estimate. Now, a n is now, uh, a n is uh, soup 2 n t 2 n plus 1. E T U T two right. Then if you use uh, you have to uh, this is just uh, it is a minus one I use zero L Q or J Q. So it's uh, like uh, two minus n zero, right? Meaning with the two over n a n, so you go. Um, you need a constant. So, but anyway, important point is that two two power n times a n is less than user j q. But also, if you use a domain norm here, then it's uh, less than domain norm. If you use them, this is you, you just use a domain. So, So power zero in so this means that uh, L, L inf L one inf power one inf uh, okay sorry A N of L one times U zero. And a n is zero if power is zero. You have this. Therefore, using this one, L p one over p is L infinity. This one, sorry, L infinity one and L infinity zero. Then here is one minus theta. Here is theta. Therefore, one minus p p. Theta theta equal one minus p p. Usually, first, this is one one minus theta, and the second part is theta. Therefore,
and on the PP, let's make it divide. Operation error one if So uh, this is estimated by and L if is u0 and the zero if is uh, the u0 dq so it's constant u0 dq dq Therefore, we have J. This is huh? everything is uh, abstract theory, but so you can find some book, for example, if you look at uh, the by, uh, book by book by Leonardo uh, Italian lady must watch. I forget. Hmm? Ah, Leonardo, Leonardo. A book. Leonardo, the book is a piece from published in Pisa, right? She is a professor of Pisa. Maybe Scuola Normale, right? No. You, you know. She, she is uh, maybe a student of the Prato, I guess. Um, Ah, she's not in a pizza, maybe, but uh, graduate from pizza. Anyway, so her, her, she wrote uh, several books, but uh, maybe some, one book is concerning uh, interpolation theory. Theory of interpolation is uh, score normal, the pizza. This this is a very nice book, rather rather e easy to follow book. Okay, anyway, you have this one. So usually we we I want to write PQ is uh, JQ and DQ. This is real interpolation. Okay. This is. LQ and H2Q. We usually we write if this is a base of space 2, 1 minus omega P. No, so okay. We can summarize. Therefore, we have uh, uh, the estimate of dt, u, t, q, p, as second derivative of u, t, q, power p, dt, zero infinity, concept by initial data, base of two, two p. This is uh, the, uh, the, the the initial data, initial program, evolution equation. Mm -hmm.
Now we have to consider the, okay, so now I will consider the first one. Okay, maybe let that write. F. So maybe for, for all T, as I said, so you suitably you extend F negative G also, extend negative uh, time, and then you consider this problem. So you don't care about the initial data. Then again, you use the Laplace transform in time, and you have Okay, so maybe if you have this equation. Yeah, of course, F, F is a Laplace transform of F. G is a Laplace transform of G. And the capital G is uh, board G is a Laplace transform. Where well, you have this one? Then, uh, in this case, you uh, really seriously treat Q. So, anyway, first, first, uh, you. First, we have to consider, we have to obtain the equation for pressure Q. This is first. So you take C0 RL. And then, uh, in order to get to the equation for Q, uh, we consider this. This. Uh, excuse me, here is a V. Then, it's uh, up there. First we, uh, okay, anyway, first we assume that uh, this, this equation is already solved in some suitable space. Then, and it's by divergence in dV. Nabra P, Nabra Q, Nabra Q, Nabra Q. Okay. Then, Lambda B, Y, is uh, relation by parts, it's a divergence B, Y. Then we satisfy this equation. So it's minus lambda capital G. Oh, sorry, capital D G. Right. So is equal to lambda over G and ground five. Um, this new DB is new plus B over here. It's equal to new plus B plus B. If you use this one, I kept that, excuse me. 
on the more over Laplace B number five and that this is B B number five. So is equal to number G number five. Therefore, therefore we have if number five is equal to lambda g minus uh, minus uh, two mu number g mu uh, sorry. D new D D new D V is uh, now this is and this and also the operation is also G so two mu and then the plus so this is the equation for the Q therefore Equation for Q is uh, Nabra Q, Nabra phi equal to F minus Nabra G minus 2 mu G, 2 mu Nabra G. This is the equation for Q. Excuse me here. Then uh, the other just you can solve this variation of equation or any problem. You can solve this one. So you can decide the number of two. Then okay, so first you decide q. So already you, q is already obtained. Then the equation now becomes you you plug number q into here then you have uh, v minus new Laplacian b and then minus new number g is equal to f number q therefore you have uh, the equation finally you have equation equation for V is equal to F minus number Q plus mu number Q. This is the equation for V. Again, we have uh, the Laplace equation and the resolvent problem for the Laplace operators. Then you can solve. Okay, so in some sense, you you for, again forget about the divergence condition. Just so you get to this rubber situation. Then V is uh, uh, is a, so it's lambda of uh, F minus lambda two plus mu. G, uh, sorry, G, excuse me, G. You, you over there. V, by using this formula. Yeah. So it's for example, F is LQ, and the number of Q is LQ. And the number of G is LQ, then uh, B is obtained in H sub 2. So uniquely, you can find V 
four and it all done. And moreover, you can use the outbound address of this operator is lambda. And you can solve, uh, in some sense, you can solve the, the evolution equation. But only the point is that uh, will be satisfy this or not. This is, finally, you have to check it. But, uh, So again, you take any is infinity Rm. Then you consider a equation. So Navra, uh, okay. So uh, how to say it? just to uh, lambda b. Uh, uh, maybe what uh, round ah here here excuse me. So we 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 consider just f minus nabra two lambda g. Consider this one. This is of course from equation b minus new lambda b. And this is uh, minus from the B, B, I, and then minus new B, B, I. The left hand side, this is you can write in this way, right? And the right hand side, here it is. We use the definition of Q. Definition of U, Q, just you, if you find here the, the first line of this on the blackboard. So, right hand side is. Uh, Nabra Q, so uh, uh, F, okay, so F minus uh, F uh, minus uh, Nabra G plus mu plus Nabra T. You just, uh, you set the, the first line of then the F is cancelled, so this really becomes lambda capital G lambda phi and plus two mu lambda G lambda phi. Okay. okay. Maybe plus minus is a different. Here is plus. Excuse me. Minus. Uh, no. Here is minus. Yeah, plus minus is. Uh, maybe I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe here is plus. Should be. Okay. Anyway, this becomes to the minus uh, lambda big G. Uh, in some sense, a, a little bit. I'm sorry that here is uh, the also, we need plus mu g here, excuse me. So plus uh, mu nabra g here. So here is plus mu nabra. Is equal to to two mu over g over part. Okay, I forget to this. Therefore, you just move 
This is Python size. Then you have uh, minus Laplacian plus uh, div p minus div g uh, phi uh, minus new uh, nabla div g minus uh, this g okay this correct Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, ah. Sorry. I think this is correct, right? Uh, yes, okay. And this is G, right? So we have equation. <laughs> yes, now that we assume that this G is uh, divergence G. Yeah. Okay, therefore you have uh, uh, okay. lambda of D B minus G I plus mu abra div d minus g abra phi is equal to zero. So you have the resolvent problem for the weak Laplace equation for any phi, but then it's okay to each one. Therefore, uniqueness. Imply is equal to G, and the G is given by DBG. And so automatically, this condition is satisfied. That's it. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.